In this video, as you can see here, we've fallen victim once again to an act of appalling racecraft, which begs the question, how is this still allowed to happen here on Gran Turismo Sport? But we're not going to throw in the towel, and we're going to try to continue towards our goal of getting to A+, despite the hand we have been dealt. Hey guys, Eri is here and welcome along to another video. If this is your first time here and you like watching all sorts of sim racing related stuff, then subscribe now and click the bell icon as well so you get notified of every video I upload and you don't miss a thing. Now, you join me here in pre-race quality, getting up to speed here by learning from the ghost that I've downloaded. And I've had some comments asking how to do this, so apologies, I shouldn't have just assumed that everybody knows how to do this. If you don't know how to add this, this is how you do. So you go to the leaderboard, load the ghost, go up there, you select it, depending on who you want, and away you go. A couple of things though, make sure you have this turned on and you can only do it in quality. You can't do it once you've clicked race for some reason, but hopefully they will change that. So, where was I? Oh yes, so I had loaded the ghost. The Ghost of Super GT, which goes to show how quick he is at the moment, so bravo sir for that one. You know you're quick when your ghost is downloadable for others, and quick he was. Seven tenths faster in fact than my 145.544. For comparison, I was pretty much one second on the nose behind Key as well, which I was okay with, so I took that into the race session. Well, before I did that actually, I used the last two minutes of the session having a few goes at the pit entry. Here, like Bathurst, the pit entry is a right sucker and you can easily get it wrong. So I used the remaining time, as you can see here, to practice that for the upcoming race. So moving on to the race then, of course this being a daily race and not an FIA event, there is no attached quality for this one and the session we've just had has put us on 14th for this one. So as we get underway, we're going to get a freebie straight away as the Brit falls asleep there. But now, I want to know how this is still allowed to happen on GT Sport. Count down with me guys. 3, 2, 1. So that is probably one of the biggest punts I have ever received on GT Sport. Off into the gravel as you would have seen and the race is pretty much ruined. The Spaniard who hit me didn't even get a penalty either, but that's fine. As you all know, when I make a mistake like that, I wait and give the place back. So we'll just wait for him to give it back, right? But did he give the place back? Did he heck? So once again, guys, as you can see, we find ourselves with another mountain to climb. Lesser racers, we all know the type, would have just quit there. Thrown right down to the bottom through no fault of my own, only being kept off the bottom of the running order by the Brit who forgot the race has started. Not good at all. But I'm not going to quit here, so stay tuned if you're a fan of those starting from the back challenge videos, as this is essentially one of those after that punt. Now we're going to go straight up to 18th here, as the Supra jumps on that loud pedal just a little too hard and swaps ends coming out of the hairpin. Now I don't do those last to first challenge videos for a couple of reasons. One, because I don't have a second account. Well I do, but I don't have enough time to use it. And two, what little time I do have, I spend trying to get to our goal of A+. So let's see if we can recover here and get to at least our door number, which is number 12 here. Keep your eyes to the left, we're going to take 17th here, as the Spaniard who was responsible for punting us off at turn number one, gets a good old dose of karma and finds himself in the inside armco under the bridge. So good progress is being made here. We've still got five places to make up if we're gonna get anywhere near that door number that we've been given, door number 12. So if we get anything around 12th place, we should do okay driver rating wise. So the next guy up is the Spaniard in the Porsche here in 16th. And we're gonna get our head down and see if we can overtake him sooner rather than later. Now, this Spaniard in the Porsche in 16th took a little bit longer than I had hoped to pass. Rejoin the action at the end of lap number 3 here, I had been trying to get past this Spaniard for some time, 
but finally I did it here. Coming out of the final corner I got a nice run and I'm right up his chuff. He goes to the inside to defend but I know by doing so the corner is now going to be much more acute and he is going to need to take it at a lower speed to get round and the corner ahead is the right hander. So I break early on the outside, cut back underneath here and I'm now alongside and on the side now for the next corner. There was nothing he could do and I'm going to take the position here. Up to 16th we go now which frees me up and the next cars on track are the group of three up ahead. They're about three seconds up the road though so I need to get my head down again here and see if we can reel them in. So we're going to rejoin the action here as we come across the line to start lap number five where we get another freebie as a car comes in which promotes us up to 15th place now. So that car coming into the pits there is probably a nice segue into the race introduction and strategy. So this race is Daily Race C here at Autopolis. We have 10 laps around here today and there is no requirement for a pit stop as the fuel will last us to the very end and we are on the hard compound tyre so there will be no requirement from a tyre wear perspective which made my pit lane practice prior to this session completely pointless. <laughs> but never mind, time to turn our attention back to the action on track as the yellows are about to come out. So there's been some sort of instant up ahead but keep your eye up ahead here on the left hand side as we gain another place as the player quits. Now I absolutely hate it when people quit. It's a bit of adversity guys, don't be such a snowflake and just deal with it. If you shit the bed over going off something off track on Gran Turismo you're in for a real shock when real life happens and situations arise where you cannot just rage quit. Sorry ran over but I really really hate that though and we're going to jump up to 13th here as the yellows are out once again the German there is going to go off and onto the grass so we'll take that one thank you very much meaning that we only have one more place to go to complete the recovery back up to 12th but through another snowflake quitting after getting a penalty the recovery is now complete just like that we're up to 12th place sorry make that 11th as somebody else is going to quit as well. So we have now recovered above our door number, which is a great recovery even if I do say so myself. This is why you should never quit. Apart from being really, really annoying and pathetic, you just shouldn't because you never know what is going to happen. So I'm going to get my head back down here to one, try and consolidate this position that we've got now, and two, be in a position to take advantage of any other mistakes or incidents or instances of rage quitting. Fast forwarding one lap here, coming out of the hairpin on lap number seven now, we managed to catch up with the pair up in front, and yes, you guessed it, the yellows are out once again. There is a German there way out on the grass, so up to 10th now, and then up to 9th, as presumably this car here was involved and is trying to recover. So we're now three positions higher than our door number, and it isn't going to end there. Christmas may be over, but this race is the gift that keeps on giving. Fast forwarding slightly here as we come across the line to start lap number 8. We're line of stern and the Brit is going to go defensively. You can see him there moving to the inside. Now I know two do not go into one into that corner. So I'm going to hang back here, concentrate on my exit, which is going to allow me to come alongside the Audi here. And the car in front, as you can see, has managed to get himself a penalty. Which makes the decision not to award the guy who punted me at turn number 1 at the very start of the race even more ridiculous. But I'm going to hang it around the outside here. Car number three, we're going to manage to overtake him here by having the inside line into this tight right hand hairpin here. So we're up to eighth now, and it's soon going to be seventh once that Brit serves his penalty. So as we move forward here to the final lap, I just want to summarize the race, and I cannot believe we have managed to recover here to seventh place. After overcoming being punted in the very first corner, I'm so glad I hung in there for this one and didn't just quit. But I cannot believe, and I need to address this, this sort of thing is still happening in GT Sport and it's still allowed to happen by the game itself. This is supposed to be the top ranking lobby, safety rating wise. In the other game, or sim I should say I play, iRacing, both our races would have been over if that had happened and this should happen in this instance in its can if they do a couple of things. 
So I know I sound like a broken record, but they really, really need to bring back heavy damage. Racing is a non-contact sport and there needs to be consequences for both drivers if we are going to stamp out the behaviour in the supposed top ranking lobbies. But coming out of the final corner here, I'm going to not worry about that because I have managed to bag myself a 7th place. I'm going to move to the left here as if I've won the race because it feels like a victory after that one and we are going to come home for an incredible result here. Let's see what it's done to our driver rating. So after things looking pretty bad after turn number one, we actually managed to turn that into a positive. We've actually gained over 600 driver rating points for that one. But for now guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. We also have merch as well, so go check out the T-string store below and get yourself some of that if you want to support the channel there. But as I say, thanks again so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.